Hi everybody. Well, the dawn of winter is upon us. So uh, if you like your winter fishing, and I love it. Tell you what, get out there. The fish are in fantastic condition. Let's talk about the canals first. Mixed re reviews, I must say. But my experience of them was fantastic. Went down there last Friday. In fact, we were almost going to do a live report, but we just lack one bit of equipment, so we couldn't do it. So I'll give you a bit of a report now. Really enjoyed being down there. It'd been a while since I'd put my time in. Fantastic fish, big fish, and uh, in really good condition because of course they've had a bit of a spell. But of course uh, this week you're gonna have it reasonably busy because it's a holiday weekend and judging by our sales in store, there'll be a few people there. Just enjoy it as a fishing experience. And if you can, book another day to go. Remember, we've got our fishing school coming up just look online at our complete angler site and it will tell you a little bit about what we do if you haven't been getting success down there it is thoroughly my recommendation that you go on one of these courses we really do try and cover a whole pile of things that you might not have thought about we want you to catch more fish when it comes to Lake Coleridge it's been going well the weather's been pretty reasonable my pick is go on a day when there's a bit of a wind now I know most people think oh gee why would I be there in a bit of a wind well, let me tell you when it's glassy in uh, winter time it's like an absolute mirror the moment you put out a line it's like you crack the mirror and that sounds going right through the whole waterway I found the best fishing by far when, is when there's a bit of a ripple on the lake and you can do extremely well I love soft baiting it uh, but of course you can use metal spinners or you can go out and uh, troll in your boat and do very well as some of you have been looking at our Facebook page, you'll know that there's been some fantastic results out there. Uh, our rivers are looking reasonably low and clear at the moment. Again, worthwhile getting into the major ones. We're very fortunate, of course, that the um, limits have been taken off. There used to be a zero fish limit. Now you can go out there and enjoy yourself. And you can fish all the way down to the Waimak mouth where, of course, there's carway being caught. And that gives a, a good uh, day out if you get there. Just want to draw your attention to the fact that the uh, fishing game have got a whole pile of proposed regulation changes and I'd thoroughly recommend you have a look at it. Have your say if you're not happy. Remember, this is the time that we can make some uh, investment into the future. I personally love being out there and, and uh, fishing, but I don't want to go and ruin the fishery. We want to make sure that it's sustainable. So um, anything that you can say that's going to help that process, we would love you to do so. And when it comes to what's going on out at sea, I just draw your attention to the fact that there's been some quite major changes in the number of fish that can be caught, particularly with regard to blue cod. We had uh, the Ministry of Fisheries come in and talk to us and uh, most of the local area around uh, Christchurch, the limit of blue cod has now gone to two. So don't get yourself in trouble. Make sure you're aware of what's going on, on out there. Get out there and enjoy it. Enjoy the weekend. Remember, these are the good old days. Get out there and enjoy yourself. Come and see us, completeangler.co.nz or come and see our store at 484 Cranford Street. We'd love to give you the latest gem.